Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to run a Java jar file. As you can see, I've got a Java jar file here in the Java applications folder and I've got the command window open to that folder as well. To run that jar file, all I have to do is say java-jar and then the name of the jar, rps.jar. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't going to work because in order for a jar file to run, you do need the JDK installed or at least the Java runtime environment. But you can do that in seconds. Just go to adoptium.net, click on the latest LTS release button, and very quickly after that, you'll have a beautiful 160 odd meg download. Just right click and select install, accept the defaults, and in moments, your JDK and Java environment will be installed. Okay, and there it is, installed. Now you'd think that you could go back and just run this command again, but boom, Java is still not recognized. And that's because you actually have to restart the command window anytime you edit the path or add a variable. So now if I type in Java version, you'll see that boom, it recognizes that Java command. And if I wanna run that Java jar file again, it's just Java jar and then the name of the jar file, but you do have to be in the same folder as the jar file. That's one thing that is required. And now that I'm in the same folder as the jar file, you can see it right there, rps.jar. I can say java jar, rps.jar, click enter, and boom, all of a sudden we are playing rock, paper, and scissors. And I think I can win this game Boom, there we go, we've got the win registered. And there you go, that's how easy it is to run a Java jar file in Windows at the command line. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We got lots of great articles on Java, DevOps, Git, enterprise development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And why don't you subscribe? on the YouTube.